The 2023 ski season is literally right around the corner and for some, it already started. So I wanted to make sure you guys were properly prepared for when it kicks off. I figured we'd knock this out together so that this way, when we get out there, there won't be any loose bindings or compromised pieces to hold us back from our good time. Let's go. Let's just start off with like clothing in general, base layers, and outer shell. So first I would go through all the jackets and our pants, making sure there's no tears or any ripped clothes. Make sure all your pockets are working. Pockets are important, right? Make sure that they're doing the job that they're supposed to be doing, holding your crap. And make sure you're doing this with everything. Double check your gloves, your thermals, your socks, headpieces, like balaclavas, whatever you want to call them. Even your goggles. Check it all out, why not? Be as properly prepared as you possibly can be for this season, so it's a banger. Now, this may be different depending on how often you ride and how deep we could take this, but to keep it bare bones, I go about three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, which are the opposite days of my stream schedule, which is every Tuesday, Thursday, eight o'clock EST. Definitely come by and chill. That would be awesome to see you guys there. But depending on how often you go, will determine on how busted your goods are. By the way, I'll have a few bonus items at the end of this video as well that'll make your life so much easier on the mountain. Next things we can look at is our main setup, so our snowboards, bindings, boots, and helmet. Now these are the most important things to me as properly attended to bindings. Number one, are gonna keep you safe out there while your extremely expensive boots will keep you nice and cozy. First thing I would do when it comes to the boots, check for any shredded laces. That's what happens to me all the time. Like you just rest your snowboard on the boots, they just shred all the time. I would replace them. Check the insoles of the boots as well. Make sure it's fitting just as comfortable as when you left them from last season. For example, mine actually has a hole right where the heel is from last season just due to some heel lift. Talking about the bindings, I would definitely wash them down if you feel like they need it. Make sure everything's nice, tight, and working correctly. Oh, and while you're down there messing with your bindings, you may as well throw your boots in there as well, just to adjust any straps and to make sure there's nothing funky going on. And since you're setting up your boots and your bindings, you may as well step on in there and get your nice stance all situated as well. And that brings us to the snowboard. So if it hasn't been waxed for the end of last season for storage, let's go ahead and do that now. We can just go cruise and not have any issues with flats. By the way, if you're not waxing your own board, why? It's super easy. If I can do it, you definitely can do it. There's tons of videos out there about how to go about waxing your board. And like I said, I'm telling you, it's super easy. But if you guys are interested in any of that, definitely let me know down in the comments that I'll be happy to make one for you. That's the best way to store your snowboard is to wax it right as you're done, clean it up and put it away. But after you're all said and done waxing your board, just give it a little tune up with maybe a gummy stone, check your edges, get rid of some of that rust that's kind of accumulated over the season. And then once you get your snowboard all taken care of and you're happy with the way stuff is set up go ahead and check your helmet out knock on that a few times make sure that's still in one piece if you use one i highly recommend next up i would look at a backpack and all your small other goods that you bring along with you for example i bring a jones ascent backpack when i end up going to the mountain just to bring any extra goodies along the way what do i bring well thank you for asking i bring extra socks extra head pieces goggles lenses gloves especially gloves Go check your gloves again. How important are those? My fingers freeze. Do yours? This way, when stuff gets wet, we don't have to be. Double check all your stuff right now, guys. And since you made it this far into the video, boy, am I proud of the ladies and gents that did. I got the three most useful, underrated items that you should be bringing to the mountain. First one, I know you guys probably would have guessed this one, but it's the phone power bank. I still use my phone. I rock a little headset right here. I just put my hat over it. Bring a charged power bank. This way you don't have to worry about nothing. If anything happens, you're all taken care of. You can run back to the car and charge your stuff or throw it in the backpack. That's what I do. Let's worry we have some signal. All right, how about this next one? You don't know what's coming. You don't know. A lock for your bag or even something smaller like a little case, a waterproof case or something. Always nice to lock that stuff wherever you're at. So that this way you don't have to go back to your car or anything like that. You can lock it right at the base and where you plan on coming back to. Just a little tip, if you do do this, make sure there's nothing important in there. This way, if somebody's worried, oh, somebody's gonna go ahead and take my stuff while I'm up in the mountain. I mean, worst case scenario, what, you'll lose a pair of socks and a few head pieces, you'll be all right. And the final piece, which I honestly could not go without, and I'm so happy to have it, is a portable screwdriver. Super cheap on Amazon, I highly recommend. Please do yourself a favor and grab this thing. It's amazing. I can't explain how many times my bindings ended up coming loose while I was heading down the mountain. 
It happens so often, and this thing saves me every single time. I don't have to go luggage my ass all the way back to the workbench, maybe wait in line, or have to deal with those screwdrivers that are like attached to the bench. You don't gotta deal with none of that. You can literally go right back to your backpack that's locked up at the base where you're at, and you can just go right to your own stuff and fix all of your things. Get this small screwdriver, I promise you, you'll love it. With all this in mind, guys, you should have a nice, easy list to go through and set yourself up for success here in this 2023 season that's coming up. And since we took all this time to get your gear prepped, I'll definitely be making a video on how to store your gear throughout the entire season. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hit the like button. This way we can help more people and this gets spread out. And subscribe if you're feeling froggy. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.